Greetings. We're back. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Here we go again, people. We're continuing on with our jalapeno uh, eating tutorial. This is geared for brand new chili. If anybody wants to get involved, but it's going to be brand new chili as you've really never done anything before. And it's okay. There's a lot of people that have been sitting on a fence watching videos for a long time that said, wow, maybe this is it. The comments I got on the video were great. Um, there's a lot of people who said, maybe you should do that again. Listen, oh, man. Something just stuck me in the hand. Everything has a pricker or a thorn in this state. Uh, it's going to be the plan. We're going to, the next, I'm, I'm telling you what we're going to do. We're going to do the jalapeno of this series. The next series is going to be habanero. Um, we'll probably do a Fresno, a Serrano. We're going to have fun. This is how we're going to create some chili heads. We're going to enjoy doing it together. Um, now, a couple things I want to uh, talk about before we get into this. Um, let me tell you how this, if you didn't get yesterday's, go back and watch yesterday's and start there. Um, it's a series on how to, we're going to teach chili heads how to do this, how to build a tolerance. Um, man, it's, I do not like everything. It seems to be poking me. I don't know what the deal is. Here's where I'm sitting. Not liking it. All right, so uh, a couple things I want new chili heads, a few factors that you need to consider that I, I didn't mention in the first video. Well, I sort of did, but I didn't take it to the next step. There's a wide range of heat on a jalapeno. Uh, it, it can go anywhere from 2,000 Scoville heat units to 8,000, okay? Now, the reason uh, what I didn't take to the next step is, listen, if you're a brand new chili and you've never eaten anything hot, 2,000 is not so bad, honestly. 8,000 is completely different. So, the, the likelihood exists. I mean, they say, legend has it, that one out of every 10 jalapenos you buy is going to be a monster. Or you grow, it's going to be just a way hotter one, a rogue one, they call it. Um, so, we're going to talk about that. Um, understand that. I mean, what that means is, yesterday, the pepper you ate, and by the way, if you have this much left of the pepper you ate yesterday, you can continue on with it. But another thing that I didn't fact, I didn't tell you yesterday is, here, let me show you the interior of this pepper. I'm going to show you how this, we're going to learn a little bit about peppers. Now, some of this is stuff that you you know already because you've heard me talk about or you know just because you know. Um, some of it may not be, though. This may be news to some. Here is the pepper on the inside. I'm going to show you just one half, all right? I'm going to put this half down for right now. Look at the pepper, all right? Now, we're going to talk about this. You see this right here, this light lime green, kind of a spongy looking uh, part of the pepper? That is called the placenta. Um, there is no heat in the seeds of this pepper. Now there is capsaicin oil around the seeds and the placenta all over the wall lining of the pepper. But what you're going to find is, as you eat a pepper, if all you eat is this, is from here, from here down, it's going to be the mildest part of the pepper. As you go up, that pepper is going to get hotter. There are some people who don't think that the placenta, this part here, is where all the heat resides. Eat a pepper. You know, I've eaten a lot. It's just experience. I think it does. Um, all right. So um, just no super thick wall lining, kind of like a bell pepper, almost as thick as a bell pepper. I think there's a correlation between how hot a pepper gets and how thin the wall gets. The super hot peppers have really thin walls. It just kind of works that way. So um, what we did yesterday is we took a small piece, you know, like this much, and we ate it. And we wrote down, I want you to ha have a, a notebook. And what you're going to do is you're going to put down, you're going to write about your experience, how long it burned, how long it took before the burn started burning, um, what the entire experience was like. Write down your results, OK? And then um, write down your heat on a scale of 1 to 10 of your heat. Zero, 1 meaning you can barely heat feel it. And 10 meaning, whew, I can't do any more than that. You're going to find out where your 1 to 10 is, and you're going to put, the, put it on. Every day, we're going to eat a little bit more. The goal is that on day 5, all right, we're going to eat an entire jalapeno. All right? If you're brand new with this, you don't want to probably do it on an empty stomach. You want to have something in your stomach. Okay? As far as prepping for this, some people have a, a, like a rigid uh, routine that they do every single time they're going to eat something hot. I don't. Um, as long as I have something in my stomach, I'm usually okay. Uh, but if, you, if you're brand new to chilies, uh, I'm sure that you can probably get a little bit of an upset stomach just eating a jalapeno. So you want to have something in your stomach before you eat this, all right? Um, I'm going to have a little bit more than I ate yesterday. Okay.
This is a larger uh, chunk than what I ate yesterday, probably twice as large. All right. I'm going to eat it. You're going to eat it. And as, you're, as the heat's building and processing, I'm going to tell you, we're going to go on to the next part of this video. Hang on. So this is this day two of the jalapeno tutorial. I'm Johnny Scoville. We're doing this together. This is Chase E. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is kind of do a self, like a little diagnostic of how you feel. Where is the burn in your mouth? Um, like I said, how long did it take? There, peppers have a different approach uh, or a different uh, type of burn. Some will burn, you know, they have different qualities. So you have to kind of describe it. Um, the next step, we're going to do a series. We're going to do, like I said in the beginning, and we're going to do lots of peppers as we do this. Um, and the burn, you'll notice that the burn changes. Um, as you're sitting there kind of contemplating your burn, I'm going to tell you a story. Here's the funny thing. If you found somebody who's a, like a hardcore chili who's been doing it for a very long time, they've got some memorable um, experiences. The first, the hottest pepper they ever ate is going to be a memorable one. It'll be ingrained. All right. Mine is. Um, the hottest, uh, which is a warthog. The hot, the, 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 so everybody will have a story about the, the time that they didn't prep and they got the worst stomach cramps of their life. Those people with really hardcore chilies will have a story about um, their first super hot, all right, uh, or their first reaper, uh, or seven pot, They'll, or primatale, or warthog. But they're going to have their story of the first time they ate a ghost pepper. They'll have a story of the first time they ate a habanero. But here's the funny thing. Every chili head. I don't care what stage you're at. Let's say you're only at habanero. Here's the truth of it. If you're only at jalapeno, every chili head has a jalapeno story. And I do. I'm going to tell you mine. Um, I had a, one of the, I've only had a rogue pepper three, two or three, three times, I think, on video. One of them was on this channel, and it was a jalapeno. It was almost as hot as a habanero. But here is my uh, funny jalapeno story. Um, I have a lifelong friend named Doug, best man at my wedding, just a wonderful guy. I love the dude. And uh, he, uh, I've known him for years. I call him Dougla for the last 10 years or so. He hasn't, never asked me why, but what a wonderful guy he is. I, uh, at one point, I met him when I was a kid. I was like eight, I, know, I met him when I was a kid. Very young. Anyhow, uh, we've been friends forever. And, uh, I moved around. At one point, I was living in Texas, and I'm like, dude, you got to come visit me. So he flew out from uh, where he lives on the East Coast uh, and visited me. And uh, we, we had a great time. We really did. It was fun. We went sailing a lot. But at one night, we sailed across, across Galveston Bay and went to a, I can't remember what the name place was. Actually, I do, but I'm not going to say the name. We went to this bar. It has a floating, it has a dock where you can, so you can drive up and park in the parking lot. But because they're on the water, you can pull up in your boat and tie it off. And so, I had a 36, uh, 36 foot sailboat or 34 foot sailboat. And we, uh, I was a hunter. He and I motored across from where our, my slip was, and we went to this restaurant because they had crawfish, or mud bugs, or. You know, Crayfish, crawfish, mud bugs, they're, they're amazing. If you've never had them, and in Texas, they're, you know, wherever you have them, Louisiana, Texas, they're, when they're around and it's, they're in season, it's a big deal. And I don't th Doug had not had them yet. So we went there because I wanted to treat him for some mud, mud bugs. And uh, we sat down, we had a few beers, and it was a good time. It was a great night. We, uh, we ordered, uh, I don't know, it was two pounds or four pounds of crawfish. And they come to you, it's a crawfish boil. There's potatoes and just all kinds of great stuff. But they uh, garnish every one of the plates with a jalapeno. And I 
considered myself a chili head back then. I did. And uh, I, 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 it was a strange situation. I, I ate the, I took a, I, I held it up and took a, ate the whole, the whole pepper. I think I ate half at first. It wasn't so bad. They ate the other half. And it just ruined me. It ruined me for the night. A jalapeno, true story. I'll never forget it. Doug thought it was hilarious. But that's my jalapeno story. And, and you know, some people are going to, their jalapeno story is going to be something that happens in this series when they decide they were going to eat one. Um, if you're watching this, okay, and uh, you're partaking in it, you're, you're, you're doing it with me, please in the comment section let me know. Let me know where you're at. I mean, location, if you're what part of the country you're at. Um, tell me, uh, you know, you can put, briefly put your experience, what it was like on day one. And we're going to keep doing this. I can't, you know, talk to all of you, but we sure can, uh, you can leave a comment. I'll comment back on all of them if I can. I'll try to. I'm sure I'll be able to. Um, but let me know if you're doing this with me. And uh, because here's the thing. Our goal is, so we ate a little bit yesterday, a little bit more today. We're going to eat more tomorrow. And on day five, okay, the goal is to eat an entire jalapeno. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, for that reason, you may want to, I don't know if they'll last out. If they're in great shape when you buy them, you know, all five should last the entire uh, week. Um, you can pick a small one. It doesn't really matter. It's, no, it's not a contest, right? But uh, on day five, the goal is to eat an entire jalapeno. And every single day, we're going to write down how hot it got. All right, and we're gonna write down what the flavor was like, what we could detect, where the burn was, the character of the burn, how long it lasted, the whole nine yards. But then on day six, after we've eaten an entire jalapeno together, we're gonna to go back and eat the same amount that we did on day one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be blown away by the change in how, what you're able to detect in flavor and you're going to be very surprised with how little it burns you. You'll be like, what? Because then we're going to start the habanero series. We're going to do a serrano, a habanero, probably the serrano will probably be next. Um, we're going to try to scale it up, all right? And just so you know, it's, I kind of decided to do this late in the season. Next season, we're going to have a series that's going to start early and go through the entire season. And what we're going to do is we're going to take somebody who's a non-chili head to hardcore in a, we in a weekly tutorial that we do together it's gonna be fun but we're gonna get a good jump start on it this season because there's a lot of peppers you know we're not gonna be able to get super hot at certain times of the year but you can if you live in, in at least if you live near a good gro grocery store with good produce you can typically get jalapenos habaneros serranos fresnos banana peppers there's a lot of peppers that we can do this with even if it's the even if it's not the peak season so that's what's coming look forward to reading your comments I'm proud of all of you. We can do this. You're doing it already. It's kind of exciting. In the description box, you're going to see a link for all the normal stuff. Please check out everything out. Right here, you're going to see my son, Johnny Scoville Jr., and the Lifeboat. Lifeboat's a great channel. It's my brother's channel and his son, Spanx. If you have something you're trying... You know what? If you want to live on purpose instead of live, you know, because too often I think people think it's a spectator sport. It's not. It's a participant sport. And even those who don't realize that are, are watching life go by. If you want to live on purpose, it's a good place to start. And up here, we're going to see uh, a couple more videos. Thank you for hanging out with me. We're doing this. I'm Johnny Scovo. I'm proud of you. This was Chase the.